Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Hytale news episode and yes, I know I've been uploading quite some Hytale videos recently and that's because there's been a lot of stuff to talk about and obviously every time something new comes out in Hytale, you can be sure that this channel will 100% cover it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So you guys know that a few days ago Riot acquired Hypixel and Hytale and I already made a video about it if you want to check it out it is in my channel but here's a tweet from a Riot Games employee he basically tweeted out strong move at Riot Games acquires Hypixel Studios who was working on Hytale a next gen Minecraft game. Announcement trailer got 55 million YouTube views which is insane and 2.5 million beta signups excited for this collaboration. So the new information that we got from here is that Hytale has officially gotten over 2.5 million beta signups and that is a huge 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 number so so it means that the hype around Hytale isn't just because people are calling it Minecraft 2.0 people actually want to try out the game and give it a chance because over 2.5 million beta signups is an insane number okay so now we'll be taking a look at some new Hytale content that was officially posted in the blog posts oh uh, we basically have a few screenshots and we are gonna go over them and see what we can spot if any new stuff that maybe shows up and uh, yeah let's get right into it So the first screenshot is just a new cave, uh, I mean the image looks great, the player is holding a very nice looking pickaxe, he's also got some headphones and you guys can see that the shadows are actually pretty good, uh, if you guys look at the ground the shadows are really well detailed and then there's obviously a small cave with some mushrooms, it, I think th these are mushrooms or something like that, don't quote me because I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, pretty good looking stuff. And now we have an image of a new animal that no one has ever seen and that is now confirmed in Hytale, which are the camels. As you guys can see from the image, there are four camels, uh, three adults and one child, in which looks like zone 2 because obviously it is a desert. So from this image we can say that the camels are officially coming to Hytale and they will be available at least in zone 2 because obviously that's what makes sense the camels live in the desert so it makes sense that they live in zone 2 and i honestly don't think they will be available in any other zone okay so for the next image you pretty much see a cornfield we have already seen cornfields i believe in the trailer i'm not 100 sure but i think it was in the trailer but we can see a player watering the cornfield so not much to say about this image just looks pretty nice i'm not sure if watering was already announced i think it was i think it was also in the trailer i'm actually 99 sure but not 100 sure then we have an image of some new gameplay and there's a lot of detail that we can look at in this image first of all obviously we see a player fighting a skeleton you guys can see that the skeleton's life comes up above his head this was already known but still good thing to point out now if you look at the top right of the image you can see that the mission is defeat the skeleton pretty much and then if you look at the player's inventory we can see that it's got a lot of potions it's got some blocks and i'm not 100 sure if these sort of books have already been shown i haven't seen them before but i might be wrong if they have already been announced please let me know in the comments but i think they are supposed to be used to create some sort of spells and attack the enemies because that seems the, to be what the player is doing to the skeleton so yeah this is probably going to be some sort of mission where you have to attack a castle of skeletons now for our next image we have a pretty detailed image of an inside of a house you guys can see there there's a lot of potions, there's a pan as well as a fire, then there's a lot more details, you can see the little pots in the ground, as well as a player that is a farmer with a kind of a, um, how do I say it, like a grass in his mouth, I'm not sure what, how that's called but you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm probably showing it in the video. Then next up we have an insane image that you guys definitely didn't know about this until this new blog post came out 
and if you look at it you will 100% see what I'm talking about but first of all let's just appreciate how good the castle and the buildings look in this sort of town or city or whatever it looks great but that's not the, really the point of the image as you guys can see there's a player that is using a propeller which probably means that we'll be able to fly by ourselves without any type of balloons we know that the game will have balloons as we have seen in some previous gameplay but now we know that we'll be able to maybe craft or find or whatever pretty much we'll be able to use propellers in order to fly now if you guys look at the image behind the player this is a little bit harder to see but in the castle there's a sort of um, catapult that could be, I'm not sure, it could be just visual but it could also be used to defend the castle. Maybe at some point you have to break into an enemy's castle of skeletons or something and they will be using this sort of catapult. So this is very promising but it could also just be a visual like stuff and not do anything at all. We have to wait and see how it plays out but pretty interesting stuff. Then next up we have an underwater image that looks pretty good about a treasure and I think that the underwater gameplay in Haiti will be very interesting. We got a little bit of it in the trailer we could see like over 10 type of different fish underwater so there will probably be a lot of missions and a lot of stuff to do underwater in the ocean and stuff like that and this is one of these you guys can see a treasure and then some sea plants and just some fish. Then next up we have an image of an archer that is pretty much running away from the Scarex. Correct me if I'm wrong but I think that this is the first time we actually see the Scarex tank uh, in an actual image. We've only seen it in like a concept design I think. I might be wrong though but it looks pretty good as well. It's pretty big. It's probably gonna be the biggest Scarex of them all. Now if you guys look at the walls this is a little bit harder to spot but you guys can see some Scarex eggs so this is probably some sort of Scarrack nest and that's exactly why the Scarracks are attacking the player. They are probably just trying to protect their eggs but pretty nice detail, it looks pretty good. Now we've got two images of some constructions and this first one you guys have seen some similar ones in the trailer and stuff like that but this is really good looking of course. You can also see a torch on top of the building if you take a closer look and the building is obviously very well detailed and it's gonna be really interesting to see the stuff that people come out with when Hytale releases. Then we have a second image of pretty much another construction but this one is in zone 2 I think maybe it's zone 1 when it's the Sun is going away but I would say this is zone 2 I, I am not 100% sure but it also looks pretty good in last image but definitely not least we have a sort of a cave and you guys can see two goblins there's a player looking at the goblins and then the goblins realize the players there so they obviously are going to attack him but this could be some sort of mission where you have to break into the goblins safety spot or cave and just get some sort of treasure because they definitely seem to be defending something i'm not sure what is actually on top of the table it could just be a normal bigger torch or maybe it's some sort of mission that you have to do i don't know you don't know no one knows and the player seems to be holding some sort of axe which looks really good but also very big by the looks of it i would say it's probably gonna be harder to find and like a, a rarer type of axe but it does look pretty good it also matches the player's like uniform or armor or whatever so it looks pretty decent and before we end off the video just a quick little update you guys might be wondering if there's gonna be any more blog posts this month because Hytale posted two blog posts but they were both about the Riot Games partnership and they usually post a sort of a progress update on the game showing some new stuff so you might think that there aren't going to be any more blog posts this month because they already post two but that's actually not the case. Noxie himself posted this on reddit he said this doesn't count as the blog post for April. So this is great news, it means that we'll be getting another blog post this month which means that there will be another blog post in just a few days and you can be sure that in this channel you will see a video about the blog post as soon as it comes out so if you are looking forward to that don't forget to subscribe to the channel.
and it's basically it for everything that you might not have seen in the blog post uh, if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave it a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel i post a lot of itl videos like two or three weekly so you don't want to miss that out turn on notifications and that's pretty much it for the video i'll see everyone in the next one peace out